Today I'm with my personal truck. You guys that follow me regularly, if you're a subscriber or a fan, you probably know that this is my truck already. This is my 2019 Ford F-150 XLT full crew cab, long bed, V8 four wheel drive. Lots of goodies on this truck, lots of extra options. And you guys are probably already aware of that. So I'm not gonna make this video too terribly long, but yesterday was the one year anniversary of having the truck. And it's got 11,000 and change miles. And I figure it's due for an update. I was also really excited to get out and film the truck today because I'm filming this video in 4K with my new GoPro Hero 8. And uh, my birthday was last month. My dad actually surprised me and got me the GoPro Hero 8. And I've uh, been wanting to get that uh, GoPro, the new one, for a while now. And uh, it looks like through the camera here, the quality is really clear. So definitely comment below. Let me know how the quality is, guys. Before we go too much further into the video, I wanted to just comment on something. I posted the seven month, 7,000 mile update on the truck about five months ago. I have my phone pulled up here and I took a shot of that video, the statistics, and right now it's sitting at 17,380 views, 152 likes, 41 dislikes, and to be honest, I think that's just a lot of dislikes for the video, and I kind of think I might know why. Those of you that watched that video, you may have taken a lot of things that I said the wrong way, um, but before I go into showing you the truck and how it's holding up in this video, let me just make something very crystal clear for anybody that might have been confused or misunderstood with my last video. I absolutely love this truck. I would not trade it for any other truck on the market. The only thing that could take its place is another F-150. <laughs> I just love this truck, so I can't see myself trading it in for another pickup truck. I just can't. I have no major complaints. I mean, I wouldn't have spent this much money. You don't go out and spend this kind of money on a truck stickered at $52,000. Of course, I didn't pay that much for it, but you don't go out and do that if you're not liking the vehicle, if you don't really enjoy the truck or the vehicle that you're buying. Now that that is out of the way, the truck is just doing fantastic. Right now it's sitting at 11,000 miles and change. And uh, got a little glare from that sun, so let's try to get in the shade here. And it's holding up absolutely fantastic. It really is. It's never given me any major issues. The only flaw on the truck here and you guys probably remember this from the previous video is the little dent in the tailgate which in the video it's kind of hard to see unless you get up close the paint still has a great shine no scratches or anything on it i did try to do a quick detailed job on it today there might be a few uh smear marks here from just being in a hurry of uh cleaning the truck up but the truck hasn't given me any problems. It's never left me stranded. I've never had to take it back to the dealership. I've used synthetic oil in it. And uh, even with synthetic, I change my oil every 3,000 miles. You guys are probably gonna comment on that and say that I shouldn't, but really it can't hurt to keep clean oil in my engine. Um, so that's what I do. And I also installed the JLT oil catch can under the hood. And that really has just, uh, helped with the oil consumption i think because here i am at 11,000 change miles now my oil consumption is gone so i would consider that that is a fix for sure it definitely uh has made a difference with that consumption in my opinion and you guys are probably noticing a lot of chrome missing since the seven month 7,000 mile video i did away with the chrome sun visors also did away with the chrome mirror caps Puck coat chrome mirror caps for the tow mirrors on this truck, absolutely hideous. They just, I didn't mind the look of them, but they just almost pretty much fell apart. The adhesive started coming off and just really a pain to have to keep putting back together. So I ripped those off, took these off because I can't fly my uh, American flags there when I'm, one is just throw the American flag up like for the 4th of July. So I took those down, just never put them back up. Um, but I do like the look of these and this. I think it goes nice with the handles and also the running boards. And I just think it has a clean look now. Got my tailgate here, a little bit of an update back here. 
some wear showing on the edges just from sliding stuff in and out due to my use i mean it's nothing that i can complain about because i've used it as a a work truck if you want to say and uh really back here it's i mean it's a it's a bed it's a six and a half foot bed i really don't have any complaints back here i've hauled so much stuff back here i've hauled um paint sprayers i've hauled motorcycles i've hauled just tons of stuff i helped my dad dismantle his shed and was able to fit the entire shed in this truck and uh it didn't complain i've, I've never really had it complain about hauling or just working i haven't done too terribly tough jobs with it but uh what i am going to be doing is taking the comanche towing a u-haul full flatbed trailer with the comanche on it up to carlisle which is about 80 miles and that's going to be this friday um just a few days from now so we'll see how it does then uh, right now i'm averaging about 19 miles to the gallon that's with combined city and highway driving so I've gotten used to the truck the 10 speed is it used to be a little bit funky but it seems like it's kind of getting broken in now almost because it it doesn't really jerk lunge skip gears quite as much i mean it still does that but that is normal um so yeah i'm, I'm really happy with the the truck even more so than i was at the seven month mark it's just really been a fantastic truck i want to hop in and just show you guys the interior briefly it's a little bit messy on the inside um, but everything is holding up very well the seat bolstering is still nice no stains or anything there the floor mats are really keeping the carpets just looking like new and uh, these are the factory rubber liners all your power windows locks mirrors all that stuff is looking good no fraying no buttons or anything that uh, are not functioning properly I'm gonna see if I can get the camera down here and start it up for you guys. Starts right up, it's never not started. So right now we're sitting at 11,309 miles. As soon as I get in the truck, it's just like all one motion. Start the truck, push the stop start off. I hate the stop start, but thankfully Ford, we have a button to turn this off. Um, so I'm happy that there's a button to turn that off. I will say this, and again, for those of you watching the video, if you have F-150s, don't think that I hate the truck by saying this because I don't. I don't like the navigation system because it's just not gotten me to the right place at least a half a dozen times. I have put in addresses that I've ended up having to put the same address in my iPhone and I come to find out I'm five or ten minutes away from that location because that takes me in a weird direction that I don't even know what it's thinking um, but that's that's just the tech issue it's not really the truck back here these seats are like brand new still because the truck rarely is used back here I will say something that I was really pleased with and you can ignore the mess but I put a little bit of a cushion back here with some blankets and uh had to take this on a road trip with my dad and <laughs> this was a couple months ago in the thick of the pandemic you know the coronavirus garbage going around and everything we didn't want to stay in a hotel so dad actually slept back here and uh, we put some uh coverings on the windows to keep people from seeing in i was able to fold the center armrest up slept up front with some cushions blankets and that and we slept in the truck overnight um so not that you would need to do that but hey it's there if you need to ever sleep in the truck there's plenty of space for you to do so <laughs> and i also commented on the engine noise um, how it makes a little bit of a diesel kind of a rattle almost noise to tell you the truth guys for the last probably 5,000 miles since i took that video it's gotten progressively less and less and now i mean listening to it you guys can see that it's it's just super quiet so i just don't have anything to complain about with the truck 
I know I pointed out a lot of things that I noticed after the 7,000 miles, seven months, but here we are at one year and a day, one day over the, the one year mark here, and 11,000 miles, and it's just getting better the longer that I have it, it seems like. That is our catch can right there, and I have emptied that once, had about that much, uh, like a quarter inch, maybe a half inch in the bottom of it, and uh, it was not as dirty as I thought it'd be. It was a little bit dirty, but nothing too crazy. Um, I've recently checked the oil, and it's, it's where it should be since my last change, and I am at about, uh, let's see, 11.3 last change was at like 8600 miles so i'm at like 2700 miles right where it should be so oil consumption seems to be completely gone and maybe it's not because of the catch can but it got better after i installed the catch can so i'm happy with that and i'm getting different angles here because of the sun i want to make sure you guys don't have the glare too much on you i also wanted to put the back end in the sunlight back here and just see you guys really can't unless you get super close you guys already know the story behind that and i'm i'm not gonna beat the truck up for that i mean i'm using it for a work truck it's gonna have those things five ten years from now if i still have the truck it's probably gonna have more of that i do have the 7500 pound rated hitch with a hook and uh, the three different sized tow balls there just some general things that I keep in the truck. I keep some jumper cables in here. Um, I also have a uh, hatchet underneath that, some painter's tape, don't know how that got in there. Some wrenches, some cleaners, disinfectant spray, rope. Um, yeah, just general things. I've never even had to use that rope, but it's there in case I need it. And yeah, I'm really so far pretty pleased with the interior quality. I did miss the spot down there. Um, Overall, the, the panels, the door panels, the soft-to-touch armrests, the, the cloth, I, I've gotten just a few things, having uh, some people ride occasionally in here, family, and over on my side, um, where, you know, just eating or drinking, because I do eat and drink in the truck occasionally, where I've gotten some things on here. This material in the center, it cleans up really easily, um, so that's nice, and the seats are in, like I said, like new condition, and... Uh, Everything in there is looking good still. All the buttons in the center here. You guys know I did the new metal upgraded oil plug. Um, aside from that, I really haven't done anything else to the truck and it's holding up very well here at the one year 11,300 some odd mile update and uh, let's just call this a one year 12,000 mile that's what I'm going to label it in the the title here I do hope you guys enjoyed this video I tried to cover everything that I would show you guys want to show you feel like you need to see at the one year 12,000 mile update no plans to get rid of the truck anytime soon like I said absolutely love the truck and yes it's not perfect it does have its little flaws and things here and there but compared to when I first bought it to the mid uh, ownership update the seven month 7,000 to now it's just gotten better and better when I drive it and uh, I'm happy with it so yeah there you go guys I will see you guys with the next update of the truck it's probably gonna be a little while but got more Comanche content coming maybe some car reviews and uh, comment let me know your thoughts of the video before you go. Rate the video. Give that a thumbs up if you uh, like the video and the truck here. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.